So while Thanos is collecting Infinity Stones with the plan to conquer the universe, thanks to the offerings here of Monogram Direct and the Infinity Gauntlet Replica Bank, you can collect yourself, not Infinity Stones, but some spare change. That doesn't sound as cool as Infinity Stones, but take my advice. Spare change does come pretty handy when you want to be making a visit to your local comic book store. And your comic book store is just one of the places where you'll be able to find Monogram Direct's new release here of the Avengers Infinity War Infinity Gauntlet Replica Bank. So let's figure out how big this bank stands. And I think for that, I'm going to take the pointer finger of the glove, the gauntlet, to figure out that's probably the tallest point of the bank. This bank is a very impressive 11 inches in height. With Avengers Infinity War now hitting theaters, actually just opened last night, I thought it would be a perfect time to have a look at this new collectible release from Monogram. And here we have a super cool, super impressive looking replica of the movie-worn Infinity Gauntlet. There's also a comic version of the Infinity Gauntlet that Monogram's released also. We're going to look at that in a separate video and... Uh, super excited to have a look at that. So it is it is a bank. There is a slot featured right on the front area here, right by the palm, and that's going to hold or at least fit your change. In Canada here, we don't have uh, dollar bills or $2 bills. What we have is loonies and toonies, and I think even that would fit in the very large slot featured on the front there or featured on the palm. To access your change, of course, it would be on the bottom area here. And you've got the Marvel Infinity Gauntlet Bank. You just want to peel that away. And you have your opened compartment inside. Just to give you a help, just show you how much space, how much change you would be able to fit inside. I mean, that is hollow right from the opening here to the very tips of the fingers. They haven't filled it in. So imagining how much of uh, your sp spare coinage you'd be able to fit in there. That's pretty impressive. And then you just want to close that up. Make sure, of course, it's completely closed. The, uh, the glove is immaculately detailed, featuring all the stones featured in the movie. Uh, we have the Soul Stone. We have the uh, Reality Stone, the Space Stone, the Power Stone. Of course, we also have the Mind Stone. And then on the side, we've got the Time Stone each of which have been done in a translucent plastic. It almost benefits this way too because it, it almost looks as if the, the gems are glowing or pulsating. The rest of the gauntlet can be only described as almost a matte metallic gold. It doesn't have the sheen of a metallic gold, but it's definitely metallic gold in color. Uh, all the intricate little details Monogram have included into the bank itself, all the little kind of decorative on the side, the individual panels, the individual little rivets and stuff like that have all been uh, covered here. All the bases have been covered. And if really not for this, if not for this section right here, it looks as if it could fit theoretically a hand. I would not entertain, of course, the idea of opening this up any further. And I wouldn't want to get my hands stuck in there, but it looks like it could be, a, it's a little bit smaller than the one that Thanos would be wielding, but at the very least, it does look like something a normal human-sized hand could technically wield. And again, I really think the size is what the benefit of this particular piece is. Uh, Monogram have started really releasing much larger banks. I know at one point they, they have released banks, but when we, we're going to be looking at some pretty cool bust banks in the upcoming videos, so you guys will be able to see uh, like the sheer size of some of these things that they're releasing. Not only does it benefit the collector for the amount of spare change that you can be able to put inside of it, but also above that, you're realistically, I mean, that is a nice showpiece. It benefits itself twofold in the sense that you are being able to put somewhere your extra, you know, your, your extra spare change. But second to that, you've got yourself a really nice looking collectible that just simply putting it on a shelf as it is right now, I mean, I would definitely say that it rivals some of the other collectibles that you would see of the Infinity Gauntlet here. 
the Monogram International Avengers Infinity War Infinity Gauntlet Bank should now be available in comic book stores should you wish to pick this up for yourself. You can also find a lot of these in retail stores. A lot of Monogram pieces I've been able to find at Toys R Us's and other retail outlets as well. So there's a lot of areas where you can find these for yourself. I definitely would recommend it for fans of the new Avengers Infinity War. Of course, that's going to be a huge hit and it's pretty cool to see that Monogram is releasing collectibles to coincide with the movie as well. I got really goosebumps looking at this because it's got some sheer size to it. It's a, essentially a one-to-one -one scale of the Infinity Gauntlet based on the size at the very least of my hands. Uh, it's a nice large piece. It shows well and of course above and beyond that it's a bank so you can hold a lot of change and change is something that I seem to have a lot of excess amounts of so this will be ideal for that. Uh, today we were having a look at the new Monogram International Avengers Infinity War Gauntlet Bank. If you guys want to follow Monogram in some social media outlets, I'll put the links down below. If you also haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button on this channel, you are missing out on a ton of cool content, you don't mind me saying, cool content that's coming to this channel on a regular basis. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. I'll also put links down below to my Facebook my Twitter, and my Patreon account should you wish to follow and support this channel at all. Uh, more videos will be coming your way, guys, so stay tuned for those. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.